Next up, our speaker today is going to share a story about how popcorn courage changed her way of thinking. I'd like you to persuade you today to have some popcorn courage in your life. Well, let's welcome Cynthia with her speech called Popcorn Courage. I can hardly wait to hear what this is all about. <laughs> Take it away, Cynthia. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Toastmaster. As far back as I can remember, I took great pains not to fail at anything. Easy. I just didn't try anything. Anything new? No, not going to try. Because if I did, I did it poorly. Then I never wanted to do it again. I just told myself, well, I'm just not good at it. I remember when I was first married to a, a previous husband. And... He said to me, honey, I love homemade biscuits. Well, me, being the dutiful wife, I had to make homemade biscuits. And I have to admit, I'm not that great of a cook, especially homemade stuff. I mean, I get your Bisquick out here and I could do that, or Pillsbury, I could do that. He wanted homemade from scratch. I got my Betty Crocker got her out there looking at biscuits and I made what I thought was as good as I could do. He takes one bite and nearly broke his teeth. They were so hard. Oh my goodness. And I have to say he was very kind. He said, well, honey, I really don't like biscuits that much. Oh, it was so devastating to me, especially being a new wife. But I told myself, I don't know how to make biscuits. And I will never do it again because I don't know how. I kept those narratives in my mind every single time I tried something and did poorly at it. I just said, I can't do it. I define myself in less than terms and I just stopped trying things. Now, next marriage. I mean, Steve, and you all know Steve. <laughs> Steve is fearless. He is not afraid to try anything. And when he messes up, you know what he does? He doesn't run and hide. He doesn't say, I can't do it. He tries again. Imagine that. He does something and messes up and gets it wrong. He'll say, well, I'll just do it better next time. That was just not in my vocabulary. Now let's take the kitchen. How does he do the kitchen? He has tried a lot of new things. He'll try something like tapioca pudding or broccoli casserole. It doesn't turn out right. He says, huh, what can I do to make that better? Who ever thought of that? That was not what I grew up with. So one day, Steve, he started really pampering me. And we, he started making popcorn every week, once a week, but not the kind of popcorn that I make. Now, I don't know how to put it in a microwave, press popcorn, and I make popcorn. No, 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 no. Steve does it with oil. Can you imagine putting it in the saucepan, putting kernels in it on the top where it pops? And he started getting me used to that every single week. Now it's time for the popcorn. I knew it was because I could almost smell it. My mouth sort of salivating like Pavlov's dog and I just knew it was time and he was in a Zoom meeting. I needed that popcorn. So I thought, what can I do? I don't know how to make it, but maybe I could try. Maybe I could be like Steve. So I got the directions out. So proud of myself. Put that oil in, started to make that popcorn. Suddenly, a stench in a whole house. Steve runs back in. What is that smell? I burnt popcorn all through the house. And if you don't know what burnt popcorn smells like it is very hard to get rid of that smell and I cried never again can I make popcorn not gonna ever do it again so he calmly it's okay honey it's okay 
I like burnt popcorn. No, no, not gonna be that way. No. So calmly in the next few days, I started thinking. Now, what does Steve? WWSD, what would Steve do? And I knew he'd try again. So I said, okay, I, I can do it. I can think differently. I can what? Put different kind of oil in, take it off sooner so it doesn't, doesn't, you know, burn. There's so many things I can do. I'm gonna try something. So he's in a Zoom meeting again. And here I go, braving the kitchen. Don't know if I should have the fire department on speed dial or not, but okay, here I go. I made it. I didn't burn it. Can you believe it? Now, I didn't cook it all the way. I'll admit, I had kernels left, but I made it. And Steve even was, you did it. I was so proud of myself that I did it. So now, when I find that I'm starting negative thoughts, you're a loser, you can't do anything, you're gonna mess up, I start thinking, oh, wait a minute, remember that story about the popcorn. Remember how I went on and did it again and I did better? Well, then I might be able to do it. So I wanna persuade you, since this is a persuasive speech, I wanna persuade you to think about how you talk to yourself. Do you just remember the misses and forget all the hits that you do? Do you tell yourself, no, nah, I can't try anything new because I can mess it up or I've messed it up one time, two times, four times, five times, but that's all right. You're learning. Me, I learned how to do it better. So now, could you do with some popcorn courage in life? My quest my advice to you is go out, make that popcorn, have some popcorn courage. I did, and it tastes great. Mr. Toastmaster.